Hello, my name is George Gas. I am an ex-head teacher and now I create art uh, and I print. So I'm really delighted to have been asked to um, make a short film or a commentary on the Bakari um, art exhibition and art from Uzbekistan. Um, I have a great interest in the way that uh, civilizations have cross-fertilized each other, have worked together over the generations, over the years, and the way that we each have developed our own individual cultural nuances and styles. Um, I am Greek by birth, but I'm fully aware that in my family we are very much a product of um, what one might call the movement of people that uh, accompanied the Byzantine Empire in particular. Um, you know, we can see within the family this variety and uh, wealth and richness, if you like, of people who have come and gone, who have added their own stamp and their own, um, you know, cultural, individual and social dynamics to, to something that is now you know, what we call Greek culture. Uh, uh, particularly today, I'd like to talk about um, some works of mine which try to reconcile the past with the present, that try to acknowledge art's influence and power as a medium of, um, of love, of reconciliation, of, um, of healing, if you like. The pieces I would like to talk about really refer to this kind of to the layers of history that I have inherited and which I think are important in acknowledging. But at the same time they refer to my feeling that as human beings we really need to accept, acknowledge, uh, investigate and um, you know see the beauty in the arts of other cultures. I'm very interested in Byzantium, uh, in Constantinople, particularly because of its connection with the East, uh, with the trade routes through China, Uzbekistan, um, Trabzon. And of course, the dispersion of those goods and those cultural forms throughout the West, North Africa, and in fact the rest of the world of particular importance were um, the were silks and ceramics but there is a lot in Byzantine art which shows the influence of um, you know the arts of the East um, and there is a cross fertilization going on as well particularly with Byzantine craftsmen working in uh, North Africa within Palestine, uh, Jerusalem, Israel. Um, and also there is exchange between the cultures, which I think has enriched both. So the pieces of work I want to talk about are maps. In my maps I try to capture the different eras that have, and the different times, the different religions that have populated and influenced the environment. Uh, the three maps I'm showing are a map of Istanbul, which is based on my father's memoirs. And it shows the areas of significance to him as a child, but also has tried to kind of map certain things that have now changed. Um, the second map is the map of my hometown, Iraklion in Crete, which shows the different monuments, cultural monuments, from mosques, Christian churches, Catholic and Orthodox, and the Jewish neighborhoods, which are areas that have now uh, be become transformed and are no longer visible in, in their original in their original form.
And the third map is a map of Izmir, um, which is the place of birth of my mother, and again shows this kind of variety, if you like, within our family history. Um, my mother's family left Izmir after the war, but um, the maps that I've created are not really meant as critical or uh, sort of as political statements. They're actually maps which uh, show our common heritage, uh, the way that we, each one of us, pass through a place and leave our mark. We can see in Byzantine art in particular the tremendous influence of Islamic art, of art of the Caucasian range, of the arts of North Africa. We can see within um, Istanbul itself, Constantinople, a rich variety of cultural influences. Um, a lot of that, of course, was due to the Silk Road, the connection with China, and the route through Uzbekistan that took and brought back significant um, artifacts, including silk, which became the mainstay of Byzantine, of the Byzantine economy. So, you know, my feeling is that in discussing art, we need to acknowledge this tremendous cross fertilization this richness that we've inherited collectively as a, as a human race whilst respecting the differences and acknowledging the variety that exists within uh, various cultures. Thank you very much for inviting me to briefly speak on the topic.